friends, my name is Roger Wayne. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're not new here, friend, you already know what we're about to say. Come on and say it with me. We are biggity, 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 back with another video. All right, y'all, so in this video, I am about to be trying none other than Tabitha Brown's product. product. <laughs> yes, friends, we're about to be trying products from Donna's Recipe by Tabitha Brown. And baby, listen, I am excited to get into this. So let's do it. All right, y'all, so for this video, I'm actually gonna be trying the styling products. I've seen a lot of people review these products, but I haven't seen a lot of people talk about the styling products. So I thought that for my first video on Donna's Recipe by Tabitha Brown, that I would be using the styling products since everybody just keeps using the wash day products. But of course, before I even started styling my hair, I did go shampoo my hair and deep condition my hair. I didn't use Donna's Recipe wash day products, but y'all, I just got them in the mail and I'm gonna do a video on them soon. So be on the watch out for that as well. All right, friend, let's go ahead and get into the styling portion. Now, listen, I did go ahead and shampoo my hair and condition my hair off camera. You'll see those, that stuff in another video, so make sure you subscribe. But to style my hair, I did start off with the Donna's Recipe Sweet Potato Pie Extra Creamy Leave-In Condition. This product is vegan, and it does have clean ingredients. This product says, get into Donna's Recipe Made in Heaven Sweet Potato Pie Extra Creamy Leave-In Conditioner. This creamy, rich, sweet aroma leave-in conditioner is sure to add good and joy to your hair care routine. This hair recipe is packed with nutrient-rich natural ingredients for moisture and hydration. Some of the benefits for this product is it hydrates your hair, protects from sun, environmental damage, heat damage, and pollution. It provides extra moisture to your hair, friend. And some of the key ingredients as well, it has sweet potato, which is a good plant source of biotin. You also have cinnamon, which removes buildup from your scalp with health, um, healthy follicles and baby listen. Some of us need that. <laughs> but also it has sweet almond oil, which has conditioning effects and softens the entire hair shaft. And then you also have Athena Sativa, which soothes and treats for good scalp health, baby. It sounds like a great product. Okay, friends, so just hear me out, hear me, hear me out, okay? It's a bomb product, y'all. It's a bomb product. Listen, they put their foot. Mm -hmm. They put their foot in this product, y'all. It's so softening. It has such a rich lather to it. And then, like, it instantly coats your strands as you, as you apply it to your hair, y'all. And actually, my hair, like, it felt really good as soon as I applied the product. But, baby, listen, when I let that that, that bad boy sit up there for about five minutes, baby, my hair was so soft, like pillowy soft, y'all. And so I just went back in and just detangled my hair a little bit just before I went into styling. But, y'all, 10 out of 10 would recommend the leave-in conditioner. It was bomb. I do want to note that these products are set to where you can use them as LCO or LOC. I am using the LCO method with the leave-in cream and then the oil, okay? So, friend, keep on watching. So getting down to styling my hair, I did do a twist out, y'all, and I used the Donna's Recipe Sweet Potato Extra Creamy Hair. Rich, baby, listen, it's supposed to be rich and it's sweet. And y'all, so I did work this in my hair really, really good. And after I finished working it into my hair, I did follow up with the Donna's Recipe Sweet Potato Extra Creamy Hair and Scalp Oil as well to help me achieve that LC method now this extra creamy hair cream says that it's a lightweight buildable non-greasy moisturizing cream that provides super moisture penetration and soft touchable definition to curl slash waves it is made with sweet potato steered with vanilla and sprinkled with warm cinnamon and y'all I do want to say that the smell of these products are consistent through all of them they are like heavily scented however it does dissipate in your hair you don't smell it throughout the week like really in the eye I really about the next morning you ain't gonna smell it okay but it's a beautiful warm smell it truly is like it, it fills up the room too however friend listen this product is supposed to add natural looking shine to your hair it's supposed to tame flyaways and frizz without greasiness it's supposed to ultimate it's supposed to be the ultimate moisture to thirsty strands I about shot we need that also some of the key ingredients in this product is sweet potato it is a good plant source of biotin of course as we already said also this product has sugar maple sap which is high which is the high sugar content gives a humectant pro properties which keep hair hydrated while conditioning and softening baby listen we love that and this product does have no sulfates paraben phthalates uh, as s l s s e l e s baby y'all look it up okay because i don't know what that means but that's my business but listen friend this cream was creaming 
hold on, that don't sound right. But this cream was doing its tag on thing. <laughs> Listen, y'all, the cream was so, I mean, when I tell you, like, each product in this line has such a rich texture to it, it's super creamy, super moisturizing, it does leave your hair um, very shiny, which is, you know, that's what we're looking for. We want our hair to be shiny, we want it to be moisturized, that's what we're looking for in our products. And so, for, listen, for the way that this product, like, clump my curls now listen i am working like in the back of my hair like in the bottom half of my hair which maybe she ain't got that much curl pattern okay in the front of my hair and then like the lower lower back of my hair which is like this area it ain't got that much curl definition like on its own however it do curl a little bit okay but anyways y'all listen this cream really did its job like you can instantly feel it when like it hits your trend it's just like yeah buddy you done done, done the daggone thing. And y'all, I'm looking at this website right now, and I just want to say I see my best friend because of a CBA. I'm so proud of her. But anyways, y'all, I will say that these products, you can build on them. I didn't put too much on my hair. I, I put just enough to weigh my curls down to make sure that I actually get a nice style. However, the products are buildable, and I will say they did a really good job at actually formatting, formulating these products to work well with each other because I had no flaking. I had no issue. Like Even after like I restyled the front of my hair, once and then I even like went back in like a couple days ago and did another week retwist like I did chunky twist because it's like two weeks now that I've had my hair um, that I've used these products um, and my hair still didn't flake up it still looks really good it still has really good shine and it doesn't look gray or look nasty so I will say they did a phenomenal job at formulating these products like 10 out of 10 recommend so the way i style my hair is i did you know apply the leave-in i applied the cream then i also applied um the hair and scalp oil as well um so let's talk about this donna's recipe sweet potato pie extra creamy hair and scalp oil now listen y'all this is not like a oil where you get like in it's already it's like in an oil form so it's more like a grease but like when you mix it into your hand, when you rub it into your hand, it melts down to an oil. A really nice, listen, like a really nice thick, it's not too thick, it's not too heavy, but it's a very nice creamy oil that literally just softens your hair even more. This product, of course, it has some of the similar ingredients as the cream and the leave-in conditioner. However, the oils and the butters are a lot higher up in the ingredient list. However, friend, listen, I want to go ahead and say it before somebody comments it. I know my parts look bad. I know my parts are rough, okay? But that's my business. That is my business, all right? So don't you sit up here and judge me, friend, all right? But anyways, y'all, this is what the first part of my twist were looking like the first half of my twist was looking like and then baby it turned into looking like deal y'all y'all didn't think it was gonna look that good did you and it was going did it we look like this yeah yeah and this is pretty much just how my hair looked after i put all of the twist in i got all of the twist installed baby and listen there's a little white area up there in the top it's because i tried to like like re-slick like slick the front because I didn't really slick it that well, but it didn't work that well. So like when I mentioned before that I had to go back in and I did redid my front, it's probably because, you know, I didn't do a good job in the first time. However, y'all, this is how my twist is looking on the first day. And this is how my twist is looking about a week later. I washed my hair on a Sunday and, um, well, I did my hair on a Sunday and then this is Saturday that I was taking these twists out, y'all. However, still like, the twist held up so well, y'all. I really like. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know this twist out was bomb. But I went ahead and put my hair into some um, stretchies, and I took some more of the oil and put it in my hand just to help, like, kind of reactivate the product, um, and then just like recoat my hair. But y'all, listen, the twist out. It was twisted out in. Listen, y'all, I'm not even trying to like overhype these products, cause, but nah, but for real though, my mama was like, listen, you can do that review on Tap of the Brown, but baby, you better not get up there and say nothing bad. You might as well just hold it though. Get up there and say nothing bad. That's one person you don't talk bad about. <laughs> 
<laughs> but y'all listen no i'm not overhyping these products like these products are really 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 that good they're phenomenal and i mean like the moisture lasts the definition lasts y'all and this is just come i'm gonna just let y'all look for a few minutes a few seconds on how the twists were looking as I was taking them out and just how easily it was for me to separate these twists and separate them well. And it's like almost a week later, y'all. Usually a week later, baby, you got a lot of friends, but no, no, not without a recipe. Okay, that's why I say this line is anointed. It got some anointed. Ah, y'all know who? My God. All right, y'all, and this is what the twist out was looking after I got it fully taken out. The Listen, this twist out has so much body on just the first day, y'all. And this is how my hair was looking like the next day. I don't know whether this was the next day or two days later, but my hair looked it shrunken up because I do sweat a lot daily. I work out, so my hair is always like, my scalp is always getting wet. However, like, the definition, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. And I had the twist in for a week. And the definition was still bomb. Like, there was hardly any frizz for real. And the only frizz that I had is just, like, for me, you know, you know, sometimes I don't go to bed with a powder on, but that's my business. It's my business. But look at the definition. Stop playing with Donna's recipe, y'all. Because they not playing with y'all. But, y'all, this is pretty much how my hair looks now. And it's about two weeks later. And, listen, I just want to say I'm so proud of myself. I always be messing with my friend Sable about how she can go a month without washing her hair. And listen, I'm so proud of myself for going two weeks. I'm so proud of me, but baby, this hair is getting washed tomorrow, okay? But y'all, listen, 10 out of 10 would recommend these products. These products are bomb, but you see, you see the build up though? You see the build up? Yeah, that my scalp is, is rough, okay? And this is why I don't go more than two weeks without washing my hair. And really, that ain't even half of it, y'all. I ain't really show y'all. Like, the dandruff is piled up under there. However, shout out to Donna's recipe! Y'all did y'all big one. Y'all did y'all big one. All right, friend, that is all I have to say. I just want to say I truly, 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 like, honestly enjoyed these Donna Recipe products. They work amazing in my hair. They left my hair so soft, so supple. The curls were curling. It, 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 was, it was amazing. It was really amazing using these products. And actually, I redid, like, a um, chunky twist this morning just so my hair have a little bit more definition. But still, y'all, my hair feels amazing. It looks amazing. And I could ask for much more. But for it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I will have a playlist linked at the end of this video so you can keep watching some content as well. Also, friend, I am going to be trying the wash day products of the Donna Recipe Sweet Potato line. So make sure you subscribe so you can be first to see that video. But friend, I hope your curls grow, your skin glows, and I'll see you next time. Bye, friend!